Hey cookie creators and lovers alike, I'm Gabby, and today on the Cool Cookie Show, we're having some fun on the farm. For my barn, I'm going to flood it with a deep, almost burgundy red. For my piping consistency icing, I've got a number one Ateco tip. And for my 15 second consistency flooding icing, I'm going to be using a number three Wilton tip. For the barn, I plan on having an open window at the top of the doors. So before I flood my icing with the red, I'm going to do a little base in a black piping consistency icing and smooth it out with a smoothing knife. Now we'll let this layer dry for 6 to 12 hours before we add the roof and other elements using some piping icing. For the roof of our barn, I'm going to use a beige and the jagged side of a number 47 Ateco tip. This barn's all done. For my tractor, I've gone in with some food coloring marker to make some guidelines for my piping. I'm going to start by flooding the majority of my tractor in a dark green. For my piping consistency icing, I'll be using a number one Ateco tip. And for my 15 second consistency flooding icing, I'll be using a number three Wilton tip. Now we'll let this layer dry for about 20 minutes to an hour before we go in and flood our cab window and our tires. Now we'll let these layers dry for 6 to 12 hours before we complete the piping icing. This tractor's all done and ready for harvest. For our scarecrow, we'll start by flooding his head, as well as where his hands and feet would be. For our piping consistency icing, I've got a number one Ateco tip. And for our 15 second consistency flooding icing, I've got a number three Wilton tip. Now we'll let this layer dry for about 20 minutes to an hour before we give them some overalls and put on a hat. Now 
Now we'll let this layer dry for 20 minutes to an hour before we go in and fill in his shirt. Now we'll let all our flooded layers dry for 6 to 12 hours before we go in and complete the piping detail. Now for his hat, I could accent it with my own flower, but I purchased these pre-made flowers a while ago and have wanted to use them, so I'm going to use this little orange guy instead. And for the last little bit of detail, I'm going to add some stitch marks with some food coloring markers. This scarecrow's all done and ready to be outstanding in his field. Thanks for tuning in to this week's episode of The Cool Cookie Show. If you like this episode, give it a big thumbs up. Want to be a part of the creativity? Let me know what characters and shapes you'd like to see in the comments below. For more of my cookie creations, check out my channel, tune in every Tuesday, and don't forget to subscribe. Till next time, stay sweet!